Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I want to show you this 1957 Chevy 150. Um, I made a video the other day of this car and I posted it, but uh, there was a lot of background noise, sirens and, you know, activities going on here. And I made a mistake talking about one of the accessories on this car and I'll address that here. So I really kind of would like to have a do-over here. So uh, if that's okay, I'll go ahead and continue. So what I'd like to do is get in the car and show you how, how it starts and how it fast idles. Um, I'll take it around the parking lot here. I'll come back and we'll go over the accessories and the attributes that this car has to offer. Now, uh, what you do with this car, it's stone cold. It has not, it has not uh, been started today. So turn the key to the on position, pedal down to the floor, one time and up, turn the key, it'll start, it'll fast idle. Uh, you want it to fast idle uh, 15, 20, maybe 30 seconds, and then kick it down, it'll settle into a nice idle. So I uh, just want to be able to show you that, and, and that's a nice feature uh, to have your car operate that way. So we'll go ahead. and a very nice driving car. While we're here, I'll go ahead and open the hood, show you the engine. This is a small block 350. Um, I indicated on the last video, for whatever reason, I said it had power steering. Uh, it does not have power steering, but maybe I mentioned it because it drives like it has power steering. You don't really uh, need it. It drives very easy, uh, very fun to drive, very smooth. This has power front disc brakes, as you can see, with the chrome uh, dual master cylinder and chrome brake booster. It does have a chrome alternator, Edelbrock carburetor, Holly manifold. Uh, this is a very smooth running car, electronic ignition, and uh, the original heater style uh, for the 1957, which was out here in the uh, engine compartment rather than up under the dash. It also has a an electric cooling fan uh, as an accessory to its regular fan so no problems there with overheating whatsoever as you can see the paint is very nice this particular color is called rich red and it's because it's very nice and deep and it's sort of a maroon color uh, I'd like to point out all this trim work this stainless is very nice now on the 150s your trim line would have stopped about right here and gone back but this is carried on here to the front of the car which is really a 210 trim but uh, someone felt that that really added to the car and I, I kind of agree it looks it looks very nice let's go ahead and show you some of the interior the upholstery is very nice it's done in this nice gray tweed the 57 with the bow tie that's embroidered here as you can see in the door panels has the heartbeat of America. It's very tasteful. It's very comfortable. Um, it's a four-speed transmission. It's a 
It's a T10 four speed and it shifts just butter smooth. Uh, new clutch. Uh, it does have the original steering wheel here, this big steering wheel. Horn works. <laughs> All the gauges work. Uh, has the original fuel gauge and speedometer and odometer. Uh, there's a little tack on the uh, left hand side there that was installed in the gauge pod. Also uh, it does have accessory gauges. The heater works. It has an aftermarket stereo that works. Um, just very nicely done. Uh, the headliner is very nice. As you can see the door jams look nice. Uh, the weather stripping was replaced when it was painted. Uh, the paint's been on it for several years now, shows very well, but all of this is very nice and clean. Take a look at the, uh, the windows here. They roll up very nicely. They're all tinted slightly. I'll try to show you there. You, you might be able to see the tint uh, on camera. You know, you see this is, would be without tint, but it does have a little bit of tint. And it, uh, uh, it looks very nice on the car. Make our way back to the trunk area. Of course, 1957 had the hidden gas cap like the 56 did. So that's all there. All the trim and bright work, chrome, what have you, is very nice. This is an original, uh, brand new original, by the way, Oregon license plate. Uh, so that's kind of nice to have, too. Trunk opens easy. We've got uh, a couple little brochures and things. Uh, in here that go with the car as well as the shop manual. Uh, I'd like to point this out to you. <clears throat> Pull this uh, piece away here. I want to show you that the metal is very nice under here as well as uh, the floor pan. You want to you want to make sure that all that is intact and, and not rusty. So uh, that's important. Important to see. Here in Oregon we're blessed with beautiful cars that uh, if they ever had any rust in them, boy it sure wasn't very much. So. Uh, that's that's kind of a nice feature. You got a spare. All the paint under the trunk is very nice. This padding is original to the car and it's intact and uh, makes everything look nice. All the clean bolt lines and again your weather stripping and such is all new and pliable. So we'll close the trunk. And give you, just so you know, all the felts and everything around the windows is nice condition. Uh, replaced maybe some time ago, but uh, it's all very nice. All the wing windows work well, and just wanted to give you a little look at the interior. The dash is painted uh, the same as the exterior of the car. The carpet is uh, correct for the car. It's it's a gray. As with most 150s, uh, we all find that the uh, the doors shut, you know, just just nice. They're they're really like a vault almost. You know, you just get that nice thud, and and that's what we all kind of like. You'll notice the lines here on your door, very nice and even. Uh, it's that way around the entire car. You know, the trunk lid, the hood, all the lines that uh, that shut on the car uh, shut properly, and they're nicely even. These are. Uh, American racing wheels. They are S200s. Uh, they're chrome. Um, sometimes referred to as Coke bottles because they kind of look like a little Coke bottle here. Or sometimes referred to as Daisy Mags. They're all in very nice condition. These are radial tires and this car just drives and, and rides down the road so smooth and so nice. So I've shown you most of the, uh, the things that are important to this car. I'd like to point out that these, the chrome here on your rockets and the bumper, very nice. The paint is beautiful. It's got this nice metallic into it. Um, this is just a very, very nice Chevy 150. If you have any further questions about the Chevy 150, please don't hesitate to give me a call. My name again is Rich Dean, West Coast Collector Cars, 503-851. 6763 and thanks for watching today.